Okay, so here is an extremely high recoil test. So this is a high blowback airsoft. I've got this sort of taped and I'm going to hold it in place there. Oh, really? I taped down the selector lever. Um, let's get some really high recoil here. There we go. So, on select fire, it does walk away, but it only blinks away for a second on semi-auto. Since it's seeing that controller right there, the semi-auto shots, I think, would be okay. And worst case, if you're building for something like this, as long as you have a ring buffer and you just go back a few samples and you find where that high deviation is, you should really be pretty good. And you might have trouble at 100 yards with that difference, but if you're doing closer stuff, I don't see an issue. Yeah, if this was like firm mounted on here instead of duct tape. And even on select fire with a good mount there, when you look at how much recoil you'd have on a real weapon, like that should fully be within even for select fire, it should be pretty good. Oh, that's exciting. Now I really need to do a blowback pistol test.